Yeah, but I'm in the A curve. Oh. Let's get the game too. I can't type uh, stream live on, but I'm in the H African Kingdoms lobby anyway, so no more, mo almost no one is watching there. So it doesn't really matter that I don't the entire stream live on. Anyway, game two. So let's quickly introduce players again. In the Nimino playing in the blue, and he's playing as the Mayans this time. And in the north map we have Moe's one, and he's playing with uh, the Mayans this time. And didn't find Chief already. That's kind of bad. He's in the wrong corner as well, and he's now going to use his villager, but again, not a great start for Mobius One. I mean, his sheep are over here, but it seems like it's going to be the last spot where he's going to search, and he's already going to bring in his boar out of pure desperation. And oh, he's blocking his own villager! <laughs> kind of risky, but yeah, I think she will be fine. Finally, finding his uh, sheep, and she should be able to make it safely to the town center. Yep. Good job. But this fair to stay alive. Ooh, yeah, okay. But still, this will be a lot of idle time for uh most one. Yeah, it's going to get loom right now. <laughs> yeah. Actually, actually the Malian player is wrong, I mean red is Malians and blue is uh Mayans, but definitely a better start for uh for Nimino. Yeah, I know, this uh, dashboard is really uh, something special. <laughs> something else. Let's quickly check this for four. You already find sheep? Yeah, I did, so. Nimino found a whole sheep. Both of the store boards are outside of his walls, though. That's a little bit unfortunate, but. Yeah, he should be able to lure them safely, of course. He already has loom. So this should be a problem. <laughs> yeah, we have some, some very interesting uh, lures so far this uh, tournament, definitely. And Mobius one, no villagers yet on uh, on woods. That's uh, also interesting. Eight villagers on the board right now, and seems like that's going to build his lumber camp right now. And that is not a good lumber camp, and he should know that. But I think this is a pretty bad lumber camp. It's only close to one tree, and. Probably means that the fish have to walk pretty far, pretty fast. And then uh, Nimmo is now going to bring in his first boar, and it's all looking pretty good. Uh, let's speed up things a little bit. Things things should be pretty normal right now. Let's see if the uh, most one is going to bring his boar back safely. He already has loom though, so should be fine. There we go. Of course. Oh, okay, good. Paying attention. Oh, but oh, that's so. That's costly. I mean, that's always why you have to pay attention to your villagers and to make sure that the board doesn't attack your uh, weak villager from the first board. Lure. I mean, now this village is dead, and that's uh, yeah. That's really bad, of course. Uh, anyway, let's take also take a quick look at the player maps and. You see this trapped wolf, it's kind of sad. But, okay. First for uh, Moe's one, you can see that his uh, main gold and his main stone are pretty safe. Nicely in the walls, did you already find the sheep that are over there? He did, okay, good job. And this gold is inside of the walls as well, so that's pretty. It's a pretty good map for uh, Moe's one. His first gold is outside the walls and so is the second stone, but he has a lot of resources inside of his walls. So it's look looking pretty decent. Uh, when we take a look at the uh, Nimnos map, we can see that this gold is far more forward. So that's uh, not really ideal, but okay. This main stone is in the back though, it's pretty important of course for the mains. I mean, we want to get some castles up. And at least this uh, stone is nicely in the back. And does he have some resources here as, some resources here as well? No, he doesn't. Okay. And yeah. All his extra gold and stone are outside of his walls, so. That will be a bit risky later if he's uh, on a lot of pressure. He could be denied access to uh, his gold and stone. And he does have this pretty close, not this uh, gold mine, but it's pretty close to his base. <laughs> yeah. 
So let's see what Nimino is going to do. He's probably going to uh, try to get a castle up pretty early game, maybe some plumes, and try to do some harassing. Although there won't be a lot to harass, but. And Moe's one, it seems like it's going to, uh, to lure us there with the scout. Let's see how that will go. And he's still in the dark age. Okay, he's a little bit behind. Never know, but it does have more villagers. And probably going to kick up now or make them. Okay, one more villager. Going up with another villager. Okay. 29 villagers, that's quite a lot. But this uh, dear Lira is looking pretty strong. There you go, nice job. And maybe no cost for Nimino just yet, because no fear is on the stone, or is he going right now? Yep, he's now going for stone, okay. Feudal Age, going for market, blacksmith, pretty standard. And most one now, 30 villagers up to the cost uh, Feudal Age, so it'll be inter interesting to see what's going to do with that, I and mean, that's quite a lot, it's quite unusual. Yeah, Blue Scout was in for a second, but yeah, that's because this wall was open, of course. Maybe Moby Flan is going for a fast imp. He does have a lot of fears on gold, so maybe that's the idea, but with Malians, will be interesting. Let's see, he's also going for Market and Blacksmith, and. Okay. I don't think I would have built him here. I mean, you could have built a town center on this uh, gold and uh, wood. I think it would have been a pretty nice location for a town center. The bow is one making a dumb decision. And let's see what Nimno is going to do. Two villages on stone right now and go for a barracks. Let's see what he's going to do with that. I'm doing an archer range. We're just going to make a couple of uh, eagle scouts uh, to protect the relics, so we can collect them safely. Uh, thanks for the follow, by the way. Um, let's check who it was. 79 shades grey. Thanks a lot, man. And here's the monastery, and he's going to do anything with the barracks. No, it's not just that, but he's trying to go to try to collect the relics. And we can see that the relic uh, has been generated pretty close to him. I mean, one, two... 4 relics are pretty close to Nimino's base. The fifth one is pretty far away, but he's going for that one first and he's protecting us with his uh, Eagle Scout. Let's go back to Mobius 1 to see what he's going to do. And he's indeed going for a fast, uh, fast input, it seems. That's pretty interesting. Hey, T90, how are you doing? Teach workshop. University, there we go. And thanks again for the follow, much appreciated. Um, Pina, yeah, thanks a lot, man. Good to see that you're also uh, following my stream right now. Anyway, Momo just won uh, up to the Imperial Age. Let's see what's going to that. We'll work for ice cream. Also, many thanks for the follow. So, as you could see, some uh, aggression in the Imperial Age. And uh, let's see what Nimino is doing. Nimino is just. Just boom right now, getting his third south, third south center, third down center up. And. Trying to collect all the relics. And he's doing a pretty good job, it seems. Has to be careful though that he doesn't run into the scout, but. Should be pretty safe. <laughs> oh well. See some other people uh, for the stream as well. And thanks again for the follow. Uh, I will check it out who it was in a couple of seconds. And seems like that. <laughs> and another follow. Thank you so much. Very nice view. Uh, Mobius one, Imperial Age. What's his what's his plan? What are you going to do, Mobius, with the Imperial Age? Getting chemistry, okay, so maybe some uh, Bulmart cannons. Thanks again for the follow. Hey, Lolly, by the way. 
Yeah, those walls were pretty interesting as well. I mean, probably for safekeeping. I mean, protect space even more. Again, thanks for the follow. <laughs> for now it seems doesn't seem like it's really doing anything. It's maybe going, yeah, hand cannon nears. Okay. It's going to make former cannon as well. Yep. Oh god, what's up with all the follows? <laughs> oh. ETK also following me again. <laughs> Everyone is following me for the for the gif, nice. Or gif, I'm not sure how to pronounce it in English. And Jesus guys. <laughs> Unbelievable. Use your name, Snooker Bro, thank you. Dragard as well. I think you were following your stream, but <laughs> Good to see that you're taking the effort to follow it again, just so you can see the gift. Jesus, guys! <laughs> anyway, here come the hand cannoneers, and... Kals is up already for Nimino. And... He's not, it seems like he's not so far away from uh, going Imp as well. But... Will he be able to keep up this, uh, this Kals? That's the uh, question right now. Not sure how, he doesn't have anything to protect it, he's going to repair it, he's going to make clues right now. But he needs a lot of clues to uh, to be able to protect against the hand cannon nearest and the, the bombard cannon. For now it seems uh, okay though, and again uh, thanks for the follow, or refollow, or whatever it is. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to stop thinking now because it's my prize, so... <laughs> Just going to try to focus on the game for now. I mean, the action is really happening right now. Oh, we're still on fast game speed, but okay. Yeah, the dashboard is uh, I don't know, kind of blocking out. Let's see what the setting is this for. Let's see what's going to do with that. Uh, it seems like there's a mistake, right? Or not sure why you could go forward like that. And even a scorpion now for uh, Moe's one. I'm not sure if that was. Uh, yeah, even make it two scorpions, okay. That's interesting. Pretty cool as well. Let's be careful though, that thing doesn't run into the castle and he does. This is sloppy, and there you go. Losing a scorpion. Yeah, I should probably do that, uh, Derpy Nan. Probably right. <laughs> Now uh, Moby's one also going forward with a couple of glitches uh, to build more archery ranges. So his new hand cannoneers don't have to run this far anymore. And he does have to try to get in to the base because he's just attacking the house right now and I think he should be trying to focus on taking down the castle and that's probably more important. And he's shifting his back attention back to the castle as well, so that's good. Uh <laughs> I'm not going to do best right now, of course. Obviously because it goes Garavex. Look at that, that can is being very annoying going to attack the village to work on the gold right here. So he has to build a new mining camp. I'm really starting to wonder how uh, Nimino is going to stop this. But here come the plumes and oh, the hand cannoneers are kind of out of position. And this could be really bad for uh, Moe's one. He could lose his uh, bomber cannons. They are pretty tanky, of course. So maybe they will be fine, but... I think he's going to lose them. Yeah, this one is definitely dead. And Super Pet probably get his hand cannon nearest back to protect the bomber cannon before he loses both of them. But he's not doing that. But he should be safe now. Okay. So one bomber cannon at least staying alive. But the second one, he did lose one. He did lose one. So that's pretty bad. And there we go. Nimino up to the Imperial Age. So. Getting getting more and more important for uh, Moe's one to do some damage with his army. I mean, otherwise we will be in a really bad position. But it's not really doing anything right now. It's not stopped attacking the, the castle with bombard cannon. Well, it should be doing that. I mean, put some pressure on Nimino. Don't want him to keep booming. Let him boom, you know. Even some skirmishes right now to counter the, the hand cannoneers. 
And yeah, I think Nimrod is a pretty strong position right now. He already has the army to stop the hand cannoneers. And he's almost uh, all the way up to the Imperial Age as well. And his castle is still standing. I mean, it was a lot of times that, uh, a lot of minutes that Mobius 1 wasn't attacking the castle. And there we go, Nimrod going forward with uh, even the Caffrey Archer for. Uh, Moe's one, that's uh, probably a mistake. And then we just has to get this uh, group's army, get them together, and then it could be a pretty good fight. And another cavalry archer. Not sure what what's up with that. But uh, a real diverse fight uh, army for Mobius one. It means scorpions, hand cannoneers, bombard cannons, and uh, cavalry archers with no upgrades. Nimno almost imperial age and I think uh, most one will definitely realize then that he's in bad position. I mean he knows that he's getting out boomed by Nimno and he's already tier village behind but yeah. It will be very hard for him to do uh, to stop this army. Look at the resource for Nimno, he has so many. I mean he has enough air resource to get uh, Heavy plumed archer right away, if uh, elite uh, plumed archer. Let's see if he's going to do that as well. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of other time on this castle as well, I mean, just keep working. Plumes are so cheap. It seems like he's just going full scrunch right now. And he does have uh, enough military units to... Uh, to destroy the... Destroy Mobius One's army, and I think did he delete his own archer range, or kind of seemed like it. I mean, he had an archer range over here, but now it's gone. <laughs> Not sure what happened there. Yeah, of course the, the Malian champions are pretty tanky. They have a lot of players armor, but still, I don't think uh, indeed that uh, I agree with uh, Ivestorius. Champions against Dooms, probably not the best idea to have. There we go, another scorpion going down to the to the castle. I never know yet, just just go forward. I mean, there's so many resources, and it's not keeping his castle working. It's a bit of a shame, but he has the army right now to take down uh, Mobius One army, and I think that's what he's exactly doing right now. Should be a pretty easy fight for him. There's no skirmishers to uh, win this fight, Neil. And I'm not talking about uh, the blooms. And there we go, GG. Mobius realizing that he's going to lose this fight and then going to lose any everything, so... GG! Nimino also get winning game 2. Pretty good game. Um, I think, yeah, Mobius won. Maybe he could have won, I mean... He did his military units, but he wasn't really doing anything with them. I mean, most of the time he wasn't attacking the castle, and you know, he allowed Nimno to just boom to the Imperial Age and be in a really strong position to finish him off. So, well, oh well, GG to both players and uh, congratulations to Nimno. Shoot to the next round in a uh, pretty easy fashion, so good job. Let's take a quick look at achievements. Um, 29 units killed, only 18 lost. A uh, lot of you, thanks for, uh, for the host. <laughs> for one viewer, which is probably yourself. Oh well. Look at that, resource is really strong for uh, Nimino. Most one did have more gold though, so it's uh, pretty good, but yeah. Four relics as well for Nimino. Really, really strong economy. And most one just didn't do enough with his military units, with his uh, fast imperial. GG, well played. Good job, Nimino.